it is proven that you can train 50% faster with a clicker than without. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and I am very excited to introduce this brand new little puppy, Tin Man. He is uh, four and a half, no, five months old as of just yesterday, I believe. We just picked him up recently and we're going to fit him into our schedule just like I would recommend anybody else do with a new puppy. People ask all the time, I just got a three month old, five month old, seven month old, whatever age dog, not a brand new puppy, where do I start? How, where, what do I need to start with? How does this process start when I don't have an eight week old puppy? Well, I still recommend that you follow along with our online training course. It's for the retrievers and flushers, that's what he will be following on. And we are going to start at the beginning. Where else should you start? The beginning. What we do with all of our young dogs is charge the clicker. So I have his morning meal here and we're going to work by feeding him one kibble at a time, I need to get a new clicker. This one doesn't seem like it's working very well. Hopefully it makes it through the rest of the session. We are just going to feed him and click. What we're doing is building in a positive association with the noise. This is pretty straightforward stuff. If you follow along with any of our puppy videos, but if this is the first video you're finding, um, clicker training is very important. It is proven that you can train 50% faster with a clicker than without. A lot of people try and say, you can use a verbal marker. And yes, you can. There are a 101 ways to skin the cat per se, but it is proven and we are about um, what is the best option, what is the fastest option, and not fastest from a standpoint of we're in a rush, but fastest from the standpoint of helping dogs to see progress and building, okay? Um, it's important to us, good boy. It's important to us to help dogs to develop at a rate that fits them. I think that um, dogs that move quickly and get challenged and have fun things on their level are going to reach a, a higher maximum potential. And ultimately, if you have a new little family companion, you're smart, you found the treats, I would assume that you want them to be the best dog that they can be, and clicker training is, in our opinion, the best way to get you there, okay? Why a clicker? What is this, what is the point of the clicker? Um, we have a marker. Now, he is licking the food. We'll stop for just a second. He is licking the food out of my hand and then eating it off the ground. We need to stop this. Why should we stop this? For exactly that reason. He licked my hand, he looked at the ground, okay? What that's doing is ultimately is creating a distraction right off the bat. I don't want distractions. I want him to expect that the food comes here. I don't want him looking around on the ground. I need focus, okay? So even that one, he looked to the ground and it's probably partially because Training with a clicker happens so fast and you can develop it so quickly that he heard the noise and then looked to the ground because of the four, five, six reps before that, that's kind of what happened. He licked it out of my hand and then ate it off the ground. So being aware of what's happening in your training sessions is also really important. That is where Patreon comes in, okay? I know that you guys are not professional dog trainers and probably have minimal experience. Maybe one, two dogs, maybe five in your lifetime and you're trying to do a little bit better with this one. It's, you are very cute. It is important to know where you're going and make good steps on a regular basis. So on Patreon, we're set up a couple different ways. You can either send videos of your training sessions. So you would set up a cell phone on a tripod, video your training session, and then send it to me to watch. And I would be able to say after just one session, hey, don't do that anymore. We don't want him picking food up off the ground so that you don't work on that for weeks and weeks and then all of a sudden you can't figure out why your dog won't focus on you, okay? The next piece is we have higher tiers which ultimately allow you to, I'm gonna switch this up. I am uh, right-handed and I typically feed dogs out of my right hand which ultimately pulls focus to my right side and I want 
in the end, these guys are going to be left side healers, and that's going to be important, so we're going to build from the beginning an association here. But Patreon, you can use, um, you can set up live calls with me, and I can actually walk via FaceTime, essentially, or a Google Meet. Um, your, uh, I tried to snag it, your training session while it's happening. And we can either um, give you correction live, which is the best time to do it, and say, hey, let's stop this right now. Let's switch gears and do something different. Good. Still looking to the ground. This is going to take time. It's, um, this is a great example of the power of clicker training, is how fast he figured out I'm going to be looking on the ground for something. We don't want him looking there anymore. Good. Hopefully by the end of this session we'll make some progress on that. I'm doing one kibble at a time to make sure that none of them are falling on the ground. And we're able to keep focus up high. If one falls on the ground, I'm going to try and snag it. Good. Now, while we talk about this, this is a really good thing um, to cover because it's a pretty common problem. People say that their puppies bite their hands when they try and do this. And when they try and take treats, they don't take them very nice. I've got a closed fist here, and he's having to work at it. And ultimately, he's licking, 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 trying to get in there. And when he does that, I give him another one, okay? That is going to help mitigate the biting issues. If they are biting when they come to grab it, you can give a very small boop on the nose, stop that, and then here, try again to take it nicely. Good. Okay, we're making progress. I say we're making progress and he goes back to the ground. Good. That one he didn't look to the ground. He looked up at the clicker, he looked to me. Good. Okay, I don't like this, but it is keeping focus off the ground. So we'll make a small movement and try again. If I need to be more upright to prevent that from being an option or even ultimately get off the ground altogether, we may have to do that. Adjust your training as you go. I cannot preach this enough, guys. You need to, guys and gals, excuse me, you need to be aware of what you're doing and what is happening. And that is where experience makes it easier. One specific uh, person that I was helping quite a while ago said, I don't get this clicker training stuff. My dog doesn't get it. It seems like it causes more confusion. Something, something doesn't work. I said, send me a video of your next clicker training session. And he was trying to work on sitting, okay? In the video that he sent over, I could tell instantly his timing was 100% off. He wasn't clicking to mark the behavior. And he wasn't rewarding consistently. And we changed that. And in one session of changing timing and changing how he was doing things just so that it was correct, he's like, wow, this is the most amazing thing in the whole world. So there's a ton of benefit. Cough it up. There's a ton of benefit from having a professional in your corner watching you train if you're trying to do it yourself. Good. These sessions can be a little bit slow, a little tedious seeming, but you need to only do typically one or two of them. And then, all right, so we're no longer looking at the ground. You need to do one or two of these sessions and then you're able to move right into training. Why do we start here? Especially, why do we start here with an older dog? Well, he's never been clicker trained, but also this is building a really big bond. I literally picked him up last night and I am now the person that is directly providing him the food, okay? So this builds a bond. It puts a lot of importance and emphasis on I'm an important person to be part of. And this is how we have been very successful taking on dogs of any age and helping them to adapt quickly and trust us very quickly. Good. So. No correction required there. I just moved my body. So that made that not, the jumping up portion not easy. And now he's getting rewarded for standing and eating food out of my hand, okay? We're getting close here. But we've kind of eliminated, minus that crunching, we've kind of eliminated the looking on the ground thing. Good boy. Good. 
Now, let's go ahead and test this just a little bit. We're going to give him a second. He can sniff around. Keep your eyes on him during this process. If he loses focus, even for just a split second, I'm going to click the clicker and see if that pulls his attention back to me. Even laying down would be fine. Oh yeah, baby. You see how um, quickly he snapped his head around? That means he knows this noise is important. I don't even believe that we need to do at this point a second charge the clicker session. We will do this one and then we will roll right in to start teaching him stuff and figuring out what exactly he knows, which I don't know what that is yet. So. We will test by teaching him sit, then we will work on some place training, and we will work on targeting for recall. Everything that we show in our online course, in that Retriever Flushing course, it's all right there. And we'll even be able to add, as he goes along, some of his videos to the course. It's a one-time fee, and you get never-ending updates as we continue to put out content. Good. You're figuring this out quick. You are smart, Mr. Tin Man. Come on. Ah, dang it. My fault. All right, I think this is about the last handful that's in there. I moved from singles up to a little bigger handful because he's doing a better job of eating. And that's it. Good. This is an absolutely fantastic first session. This is how I would recommend that you start any dog, whether it is a brand new puppy at eight weeks or you pick up a slightly older puppy, three, four, five, seven, ten weeks old, um, months, excuse me, months old. Or even if you are looking to do training with a older dog that's two, two and a half years old, and you're just like, I really want to see better results out of what we're getting right now and you haven't been clicker training in the past, this is where you would start. You're gonna roll through the process exactly how we lay it out for you, and then the more your dog knows, the faster that you can move. Thanks guys for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Tin Man, he is just five months old, and we folks will see you in the next video.